title of this poem is Lessons. Of course he had friends, a lot of friends. People who witnessed how his father brutally abused and bruised his defenseless mother each time he had too much to drink. They asked him how it felt growing up in a home which each day had the potential to become a murder scene. He told them every bit of how his teenage life was a horror movie he was forced to watch from inside the television. They then went round the entire high school telling all about this weird family. Even teachers used his father as an aide when talking about what not to be. So it broke him. Two years later, those who claimed that beer would not take anybody anywhere were again put to shame as his father was taken to the grave. Out of love for her son, Mama decided, I know how hard this must be for you. She then gave him assurances of how everything was going to be different as they relocated. And of course, she did not lie. This new environment came with not exactly the best people, but those who knew nothing about his misfortunes. So he was fine and free. Life taught him better than creating friendships, so he kept to himself most of the time. He remained closed off like an old road under reconstruction. It was way before 19, but he took the social distancing and isolation personally. But Delilah found interest in this boy, the boy who, according to her, had the least probability of cheating compared to most high school dudes. You probably know how it ended for Samson. She chased him until he fell for her, and they became happy. She taught him how to talk. The trick of how to talk for as long as time could take. Tick talking his way from the loneliness to become the normal life of the normal kid. He then opened up. He found peace and comfort in her that he shared the hot contents of his history books on her. She told him she understood. And then she said, I will not tell a single soul. But I have to go home now. But you just got here. Um, I have to help mom with chores today. They did not speak for three days straight, and when they did, he was greeted with a question instead of a hug. Um, um, I have been thinking. What if your daddy's brutality is hereditary? What if you grew up to become just like him? And that's how his bones turned to cartilage. He saw how he was losing the only person he learned how to talk to. But this was not the worst part. The bomb was dropped when his secrets were on the lips of everyone again as they needed answers to the why did you break up question. If this was a picture, I would probably caption it. It's a betrayal for me. His depression arose from his hibernation after becoming famous for the wrong reasons. Everybody he met greeted him with questions that left him speechless, like literally. The depression grabbed, the, grabbed him so tight that he squeezed the volume out of his voice. The output mechanism declared it words now and void. He became dumb. He could not answer anymore. He could not get angry. He could not smile. He could not cry. He really wanted to tell people he wasn't a peculiar person, but he didn't know how. One Friday evening, he was greeted with a reception that like celebrities can only dream of. As hundreds of pairs of eyes were refocused towards him like cameras, trying to see the only person who made it alone for prom night. He could not get angry. He could not smile. He could not cry. So he just left with his mind somewhere close to the heavens, needing answers for the why this life. While his brain had left his body, he didn't remember to look right before crossing the road, so he crossed past with a cruising cruiser, death. For his mother, it ended in tears. A representative from the school read a speech and said, blah, blah, blah. 
blah, blah, blah. This boy was not mad. He just needed our love. Thank you.